Hi there, today I'm going to review this very important must have in my collection, which I was glad and fortunate able to get. The signature Ken and Barbie Power Pair couples. Ken Power Pair dolls brought off the pink carpet for everyone's favorite pair of Barbie Ken. Each has a unique brand of style, unique brand of style and influence, and is worthy of attending global icon says dress in bold power suits their convention celebrates looks is pure fire and I got the African-American version to me these dolls are convention exclusive so I got it from a third-party seller which I was able to negotiate for a lot less versus the accent price doll stands included product Barbie and Ken Power Pair Dolls Age Gray. This product is intended for adult collector. It is not intended for children under 14 years of age. Contact to Dolls to Doll Stands Certificate of Authenticity and Accessories. The Dolls. Okay. Do a close up. She is featured with the Marissa Sculpt Model the Mo. Moment made in 2004, I believe. Here's a close up of her, and here's some comparison with the sculpts that have been used. It's not been used too often. She is featured in the Barbie Grease, one of the Grease dolls, and a few of Carlo Nueta's designs. Here's a close up on her suit. I think it's like a polyester satin material. Her hair is in singles twist. I'm not I'm not sure what hair fiber it is. It could be saran, but it's definitely not poly popular hair, thank God. She do kind of got a little stain on her body. It's Ken. I finally removed some of those. His lips does kind of look red on the camera, but it looks it looks so like natural look color in person, so it don't look too bad. I did remove some of those eyelashes around his eyes to make him a little bit more manly. I did not like the the flamboyant look. This is just my preference. I prefer my cans to look a little bit manly. So I use a fingernail polish remover with acetone. I make sure I use a a rat tail comb with a metal pick. Just carefully dab it was and just rub it off just very gently. Um, you can see a little bit, but it doesn't look bad, so I did a good job of looking at it. He is featured the African American denim head sculpt that's been used since 2010. He, and this is the first time he is featured in a darker skin tone. He's a little bit shade darker than me. He's about my complexion, but he's a little bit darker. Okay, here is close up of his suit. It's like a satin material. It's like velvet by the looks of it. And each of them comes with a almost a leather-like leather material as the undershirt. Here's the belt. This is his the shoes I did put on. And these dolls were made in 2020. So these dolls were made a year before the convention. Okay. Here is the dolls. I'm gonna take them dolls out the box for a closer look. Here is the dolls. I'm gonna take them dolls out the box for a closer look. Okay, here's the dolls out the box with their jackets off. Is I took that side part of the word band down. I did close up. I did partially root her hair with some br with some brown with some brunette nylon hair. I did fill in her some of the hair. She has some a lot. As you see, it's she had a big old sparse hair, especially bald patches. But I did fill it up to just, just make her hair appear a little bit thicker. Like for example, if I want to restyle her hair, I can put it up into like two pigtails or a high bun or something like that. And that was barring me, especially I spent a good decent amount of money. I spent like $267 on these dolls from a third party. Okay, 
here it is. You can see some of that hair I, I rooted and planted in her head. I did the knot method using a big needle hole because the brace is way too thick for a regular Rudy needle. And I super glued the knots for extra protection because nylon hair tends to unravel the knot very easily. But whenever I do a partial reroute, I always glue the knot with super glue for extra protection or with fabric glue. But this one I use super glue. With other non braiding hair, I use a fabric glue to glue the knot for extra security. And I think the color blends in really well with brown and black. She is featured with the Marissa Scope. Here's a close up on her, which I really like. Um, I wish her screening was more like the, the Barbie Carlo design back in 2016. I'm going to show you a comparison of her. Oh, she kind of got a little Beyonce vibe. I reviewed her a while back. I finally took the bodice off. I glued some of the pieces off her chest. I still got her bodice. I didn't crush the pieces, but I was, I was carefully taking it off. And it delists some. So I still got her bodice. Here's a close up. See this? Her screen is not the stamp on Memphis versus this one. I don't understand why Mattel don't use this kind of screening, especially for a doll that costs at least over a hundred dollars or so, or just in general for collector dolls. See, this is not a stamp on method. She definitely got Beyonce vibes, which I like. I, I have this doll for five years. She is definitely my favorite. Comparison with that, you can tell. From the light, you can see a stick of lining around her eye, around her eyelid. This is a stamp on method. The scope, I love the scope. She's still a beautiful dog, but I wish Mattel would definitely put some thoughts and details when it comes to collector dolls. Put some and stop using a stamp on method. Here's a close up on this doll. I think this is a polyester suit. This is like a layer and this one is not very, it's not straight, it's like plastic straps. But I could, this will deteriorate over time. It will break off. So I might end up eventually get some fabric and put some around here because this will deteriorate over time. Here she is, she's a beautiful doll. And for me, if I want to, for cutting the in a certain way, I will say do a partial re, partial rooting, add some hair, because she has a she has a big ass bomb spots that shit bars me. Any go here is these two power couples is. If you like this channel, give it a thumbs up. If you like to see more future dolly context, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Have a good day.